Inside this church is a congregation based on one word, love. The biggest tenet of my faith is simply love. Love one another. And the more that we can do that, in the more ways we can do that, to the more people we can do, that's, that's what my faith is all about. And leading that love is Reverend Rich Hendricks. How's it going? He's the pastor of the Metropolitan Community Church of the Quad Cities. I was an attorney first and then went into the ministry. Um, and I credit my children for helping me uh, hear my call to the ministry um, because they showed me the importance of really reaching people one-on-one -on -one and developing those relationships um, that transform lives. Nearly 12 years later, that's still the goal, to rally the community together, literally. Whether it's a same-sex marriage celebration, a vigil for the victims of the Boston Marathon bombings, or standing united against hate with the group One Human Family. He does things like that. He, he motivates people, gets them excited, and, and really is a great leader. Rich's friend Larry says his service is fundamental to the Quad City area. People need to be the change that they wish to see. Uh, and the way to do that is by joining hands, joining hearts, and realizing that we're, we're all the same. I can't imagine MCC or the greater faith community without Rich Hendricks. That's why he's being nominated for the Jefferson Award. I don't think Rich would stand up for accolades. That's why I nominated him. Hey. I have an optimistic view of human nature. You know, deep down we're all pretty good and we want to, to do well and do good and sometimes we need a little nudge in that direction or we need to be reminded that um, that the spirit of love is there and uh, so the more that we can come together the more we can accomplish together too. Rich knows that his work is not done. Instead it's getting even more important. Thank you. We need to stand up for the environment. We need to stand up for civil rights for people, whoever they are. And unfortunately, we've seen an increase in hate incidents, um, not only nationally, but even in the Quad Cities area. And that's not good. And so we need to come together as a people and let folks know that this is a welcoming community and a place where we practice love. And with love, Rich knows anything is possible. Angie Sharp, WQAD News 8.